Number two. Introduction. What is success? Success, just like any other human achievement, takes time, knowledge, experience, and persistence. It may take time, but it's a skill just like any other, and it can be learned in the same way that you learned English, maths, geography, or science. The challenge is that no one teaches success at school. It is assumed that by learning other subjects, that will lead to qualifications that, in turn, will provide a fruitful, personally satisfying, and financially rewarding career, a lifetime of opportunity, joy. Happiness and success. In the USA, they call it the American dream. But the problem with dreams is that you have to be asleep to experience them. Reality for the vast majority of people is something completely different. However, the only difference between dreams and reality is that one stays in the mind, while the other comes about by actually doing something about it. Most people work to live, and few wake up in the morning with positive excitement and infectious enthusiasm for the day ahead. For most people, even in the twenty-first century, work is something they do because they have to. So you could be forgiven for thinking that life is just not that simple, and that opportunity and success are something that only other people experience. More people than ever today. Are beginning to see through that haze of false promises, and they've seen the political and financial wizards behind the curtain. And so, unlike previous generations, they are opting more and more for a life-work balance. They want to live more than they want to work, have different experiences rather than the same ones over and over again. They want to have quality of life over quantity of work. And the same old treadmill that their parents trod. Who could blame them? In reality, this new paradigm probably exists through lack of hope, a feeling of being disenfranchised, and a realization that the system is broken, and it's not going to get fixed any time soon, if ever. You need to know that there is always a way of getting more of what you want from life, but to do so requires change. Without change of some kind, all you can ever have is more of what you currently have. Remember that well-known definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing you did yesterday, expecting things to change tomorrow. And change is an inside job. When we change how we see the world, what we believe and feel inside about certain things, we change what we do, how we do it, and the results. Or outcomes. So here's a well-intentioned heads up, and it's one of the most important things about life that you will ever hear. If you can change your experience of life by changing yourself, then don't you think you owe it to yourself to do it? If you consciously decide not to change, not to adapt, not to learn. And not to become more flexible in your thinking and responses, then that is your choice. It's a choice that you have made. No one is making you stay the same. Fail to adapt, learn, and change, and you will never again be able to blame life, circumstances, or someone else for your lot in life. This is really important, so I'll say it again. If you consciously decide not to change, not to adapt, not to learn, and not to become more flexible in your thinking and responses, then that is your choice. It is a choice that you have made. No one can make you stay the same. You choose that for yourself. This series of videos is being specifically produced to help you, to give you the practical information. Ideas, options, and alternatives that will make life easier for you. Unfortunately, you are not like some other people, and you realize that watching a few hours of video is a small price to pay to change your life, especially when it's free, right? 
Like we said in a previous video, success and failure leave clues. Successful people are no better than you or I. They're not always more qualified or even better educated. They just do things differently. And that's it. It's that simple. When we change what we do, we change the outcomes. Do what works often enough and it becomes a habit. And the habit becomes what we do automatically. And what we do automatically becomes who we are. And don't worry, because we'll show you exactly what you need to do when we talk about the principles of success in a later video. But for now, we just want you to grasp the basic concepts that if what you're doing isn't giving you the results that you want in life, you need to look at doing something else or doing it differently. And by mastering your own mind, you can have more and live the life that you were born to live. Opportunity exists everywhere and success and achievement are still attainable by anybody and they are worthy personal aspirations. The game may have changed and it could even be rigged against most people but the rules remain the same. Once you know them you can still achieve almost anything you really desire. Your only challenge lies in believing it and appreciating that all success takes time. Unlike most things in the world today, you can't have it immediately. You can't buy it on a credit card, order it from Amazon, download the app, or expect somebody else to provide it for you, and it's not available as a computer game. Real success in whatever area of life you choose can be yours, and mindpower.com is going to show you exactly how to achieve it. We're going to consider what success really is, because it's not just about money. Most people, quite naturally, assume that success means having a good business, or a great career, a nice house, a flash car, and lots of money in the bank. Like most concepts, including intelligence, most of our perceptions are generalized and learned through other people, all of whom are influenced by society, unconscious bias, education, and media influences. And career and financial success are great dreams to sell, aren't they? And whilst all of us want to do something that we enjoy and have money in the bank, that's not actually what success really means. The definition of the word success actually says the accomplishment of an aim or purpose, and it includes a good outcome or undertaking. Money and career are nothing more than accomplishments and a good outcome of an aim, aren't they? True success is not about concepts like money or wealth fame or social status. They are just some of the outcomes of what some people aim for and focus upon. Real success is personal, individual and specific to you, me and everyone else. Ultimately, it's about satisfaction, the feeling of personal worth, contribution to something greater than ourselves, which of course includes family and friends and a life well lived. Here's the key though. All definitions of success would include the words aim and focus. So to be successful at anything, firstly you need to know exactly what it is that you want, your aim or goal, and then you have to focus upon it. More of that in our Principles of Success videos. So what do you want? Where do you want to get in life? What is your success? What does success mean to you? And what does it look like? Now you may know, or you may not know. So here's our definition of success, and it's one that served me amazingly well for over 40 years. Whilst it is specific in terms of how I want my life to turn out, I also had to set some specific goals within each aspect of the definition, and you will do the same. And we will even show you exactly how to do that in a later video. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, 
then we'll let you know when it's released. But for now, here's something that may help you. And here is my definition of success, if it helps. Success is having a life that is free from fear and worry, filled with joy and happiness and great experiences, directed towards and achieving the goals that I set for myself and being able to support the goals of those I love and care about. Now that's a lot, but you will notice that it covers almost everything. You may of course be surprised to see that it doesn't include money, wealth, power or status. Personally, I don't care about those things. And money is only as important as how much you want to be able to spend. People often want more money because they think that it will give them something. But money only gives you the ability to spend it. And we never really want money, a big house or an expensive car. What we really want are the feelings that we think we will get by owning them. The more personally successful and fulfilled you are, the less you will want more money than you actually need. And the more stuff we have, the more we have to worry about it, protect it, maintain it, replace it and store it. Happiness, fulfilment, joy, love, appreciation, respect and friendship don't cost a penny and they can all be stored inside you and taken wherever you go. Decide what your success is, how you want to spend your life, and how you want to feel at the end of it. Life is short, time passes very quickly, and at the end of it, all that really matters are two things, because you can't take all that wealth, power, status and stuff with you. The first is your story. Everyone has a story, and we're all the main characters of our own special and unique novel. Some have sad, boring, and mundane tales to tell, while others have amazing adventures, mysteries and inspiring tales of life truly experienced and lived, stories that will be told for generations to come. What story do you want to be told about you and your life? Do you want to be forgotten in the mists of time? Or do you want to be an inspiration, remembered for what you left behind for others to know and love? The second is your legacy to those you love. Will it be wonderful memories and feelings, lessons and experiences that will sustain them through their own life? Decide now, today, this week, what your success is and what you really want from your own life. Having done that, commit and focus upon that goal and chase it hard each and every day of your life. Remember, you will never regret the things you did. You will only ever regret the things that you didn't do. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.